This is what happens when you put efficiency above all else in transportation. It's called Aptera, and it's the world's first true solar-powered EV. It's designed to go 400 miles per charge and get up to 40 miles a day from the solar panels. Today I'm going to give a complete overview of the Aptera solar EV, uh, but to start, let's talk about aerodynamics. As you can see right here, this vehicle looks like nothing else on the road today. This vehicle uses one-tenth the energy of a traditional sedan to go the same distance. And that uh, all explains why it looks so crazy. It's because it has really aerodynamic properties. So you can see how the air just flows around, it even flows around the front wheels uh, as well. The vehicle is made with ultra lightweight materials such as fiberglass SMC and carbon fiber SMC. This means the vehicle is designed to weigh just 2,200 pounds, including the battery pack, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, because it's so lightweight, we have an ultra efficient powertrain up front. We're actually able to add solar to the vehicle and have it be useful. So let's come check out the solar panels. This is one of Aptera's automotive grade curved solar panels. So we invented these solar panels and they're uh, made of chemically strengthened glass. They're incredibly strong. They're hail resistant, impact resistant, and they just look really cool. So you can actually see each individual solar cell in here, as well as the interconnects that connect all the cells together to power the vehicle. That's constantly charging the battery, even while it's parked and while it's driving. Some people think this vehicle is slow, but no, it's incredibly quick. It's designed to go zero to 60 in under six seconds with a top speed of over 100 miles an hour. So it's incredibly highway capable. A lot of that is thanks to this amazing suspension that rides really, really nice. Feels like a comfortable sedan as well. Well, now let's go over some of the features of the vehicle. Here's the center mounted headlight. So you see we have high beams and low beams here, as well as the smile, which is kind of your daytime running lights. Coming over here, the number one question people have is how do you get in the vehicle? Well, you have a phone key, right, paired to the Aptera app, and you simply knock twice and the door pops open. It's that easy. But before we go in there, let's go check out the back. Aptera has 32 and a half cubic feet of storage space, which is a ton. You can put bikes back here, surfboards, things like that. We have tie down hooks. We have hooks up top for a cargo net. And we even have this enclosed storage in here called the bunk. So it's about a half cubic feet of space. Uh, to put, you know, charging cables, things like that. Even though the vehicle is designed to get over 10,000 miles a year from the solar panels in ideal conditions, you might want to charge faster on a road trip. So what you're able to do is just move the license plate off to the side and you have the Tesla connector so you can supercharge at, you know, any of the superchargers. Uh, it really is the de facto standard for the North American market. So this is our first look at the forged carbon fiber that's in this vehicle. Uh, so as you can see, it's, it's really everywhere. It surrounds the passengers and we try to expose it as much as possible because it's a work of art. Uh, so this is very strong. This is actually a single piece from the tail here all the way to the dead pedal. It's called the tub. It's the largest forged carbon fiber piece in the world. In the back, there's also your subwoofer, your light for the trunk, and also a accessory outlet so you can you know, plug in different accessories into the back while you're camping and things like that. All right, getting inside the Aptera. First thing I notice is it's incredibly spacious in here. Uh, it's designed to fit people up to six foot eight comfortably. So there's a ton of headroom, also a ton of legroom as well in the cabin. And uh, yeah, it has all the creature comforts you'd expect from a traditional car. So we have you know air conditioning, heating, great infotainment system, great sound system. And it also has the safety of a you know traditional vehicle as well. So we have airbags, really good crash safety, a roll cage, everything like that to keep the occupants safe as well. So this is my view from the driver's seat in the Aptera. So you see we have a yoke here, which is really great. I have my horn on the right, as well as my volume up and down or cruise control buttons on the left. Behind your yoke is your turn signal lever. Uh, now this lets you go, you know, left or right on the turn signal. It also is how you can control your high beams really easily. And it also controls the wiper blades as well. So all kind of those physical controls are all available on this one stock. Behind the yoke is a vision system. So this lets you see left and right of the vehicle so you can be confident when you're changing lanes. We also have a reverse screen as well. So you have a perspective correct view of what's going on behind you. Now this is the infotainment screen. We have a whole separate video on how the infotainment works coming out really soon. But as you see around this is your AC vents. So not only do you have vents here that you can move and adjust, but you also have vents on the side uh, so you can have your side, you know, your defrost, front defrost, and of course, uh, down at your feet, there's also vents. Over on the passenger side, you can see the passenger airbag. This is where the driver airbag is going to be. And as well, this is our document holder. So it lets you, you know, put in your registration, insurance, and things like that right there. Now, moving over to the center console, you can see, you know, it's really nice. 
really nice armrest. There's some side storage here to put things. Also kind of like a coin shelf here to put more things. And we have two cup holders, one for a larger drink, one for a smaller drink. And then in here you have two USB-C ports so you can, you know, route them up and charge your phone or other electronic devices. Right when you open the driver door, you can find the windshield washer fluid. People always ask about service and repair. Uh, one of the things we really care about at Aptera is making the vehicle easy to service, easy to repair. So one of those things is how do I put my air in these dang tires? Well, let me show you how. There's just a lever under here. Push up and swivel. It's that easy. And now you have full access to, you know, take the tire off if you needed to or to just put air back into it. It's that simple. Inside the wheel pan, you can see the upper and lower control arms, the drive shaft, and the steering rod. It's really nicely packaged to not have a big hit on efficiency. So that's the Aptera Solar EV. It has a long range and gets free energy from the sun, meaning you might not have to plug it in for months or even years. It's expected to retail for around $40,000. If you're interested in getting involved, we actually have a really big crowdfunding campaign open. We've raised over 130 million from crowdfunding, which is one of the largest crowdfundings in the world. And it's what has gotten us to these validation vehicles you see here. And yeah, we're just really excited about the year ahead. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the Aptera YouTube channel and stay sunny.